People say I'm lucky, but I'm not. I'm just an ordinary teacher that's been involved in a lot of extraordinary events driven by the law of attraction. This is my very short version of a very long story of how one special class of middle school students came to believe in the law of attraction and how they've inspired others to believe in it too. Do you believe in the power of positive thinking? My sister forwarded me an email about Oprah.com about a charitable organization in Canada. I shared this email with my leadership students. Oprah was creating a group called O Ambassadors. As a 12-year-old boy, Craig Kielberger founded a club called Free the Children. Fifteen years later, it was the largest charity of children helping children in the world. He had turned to Oprah to spread the word. He in third world nations, free them from the restraints of poverty, generate sustainable development, and build schools. My students were so in. As we scrolled down the email, they were filled with ideas for fundraising and the room got louder and louder until we reached the bottom of the page where they saw the words, the most enthusiastic group in all of North America may have the chance to meet Oprah. Those words still give me goosebumps. It was at that moment that we as a group knew that most enthusiastic group in all of North America and Oprah would come to Napa. We went right to work to meet our goal of $500. Our candy grams, candle sales, and baked goods donation drives were so successful, we raised our goal to $1,000. We found out it would cost only $8,700 to build a school in Ecuador. We decided to go for it. A twist of fate led us to up our game and create a community event and auction with a new goal of $10,000. Another turn led us to a renowned artist and a new goal of 17,400. Two schools, two schools. We met our goal and more, $25,000, 233. And then we waited for Oprah. Although we were by far the most enthusiastic group in all of North America, no one at the O Ambassadors seemed to remember that Oprah may be coming and the website had been updated. No, Oprah. But we knew Oprah was coming to Napa. It was the last Friday of school. I just remember laying in my bed and thinking it wasn't too late. Oprah would come. When I got to school, the class spent 17 seconds sending our message out to the universe for the umpteenth time. And that's when I got the call from Oprah. She was at the Napa Valley Wine Auction. She'd been asked again and again about those kids. She knew nothing about us. People kept telling her about our project until she finally had a producer find out who we were. And then we were dancing and skipping our way to a luxury bus on our way to a luxury resort for tea and cookies with Oprah. We told her all about our project and the two schools that would soon be built. It was a magical experience. She told me later that she really didn't want to come to Napa, but that something kept telling her that she just had to go. Now she knew why. We had drawn her to us through the law of attraction. People always tell us that we were so lucky, but as Oprah always says, luck is preparation meeting opportunity, and we were ready for that amazing day.